guys. So we've got another one of these 164 switches, 2009 through 2012. These are the ones with the connectors that are close together in the center, as opposed to the ones that are on the edges. Um, they have an issue and I'm figuring out that they are temperature dependent because during the winter I get a lot of calls for this. Uh, people tell me when it's cold outside, I get a no crank, no start, or my uh, instrument cluster lights up like a Christmas tree. All kinds of codes, right? So I'm figuring out that uh, this issue is definitely temperature dependent. And we can see right now we've got one hooked up. It's hooked up to the Pico scope. And we can see that we're, we're a little bit high. I've been heating this one up just for a little bit of, uh, just doing a little bit of research. We, we'll call it research. Now, when this one got in, it was cold. It's cold outside. It's, it's January 24th, 2025. And uh, it is cold. I'm in California, so it's not that cold, but it is colder than usual, right? And these CAN bus high lines were over four when it got here because it was sitting outside in the cold. Okay, and now that I've been heating it up, they've been, they've been getting smaller and smaller. And I'm thinking this would probably work. It's a little high to four. I mean, it's supposed to be a three and a half. You see how, how CAN low pulls down real nice to about one and a half. And it's pretty consistent. One and a half volts. Okay. And CAN high is supposed to pull 3.5 volts, but you can see it's pretty messy. It, it reaches four. And as it cools down, it's getting higher and higher. Uh, so when I heat up the switch, this normalizes. This normalizes. Let me just show you guys real quick. I haven't figured out anything yet. But kind of exciting that I, uh, I was able to change this output, this waveform. Uh, classic German. Hang on one sec. These guys. These guys. Okay, <clears throat> so I got a little uh, rework station here. And we're gonna throw a little hot air at the switch and we'll see if it changes this waveform. Just heating it up a bit. And What do you know? The waveform gets smaller and smaller, right? See that? Okay. Taking the the air off and heated up the board a bit, and we've got a normal looking waveform now for a can high. And as it cools. It'll get closer and closer to that four volt line. And that's when you have issues. So that's why when the weather is cold outside, you guys are having trouble starting your MLs and your GLs and your S class and your CL class. If you have a switch like this. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to share this uh, little bit of information that I've found today. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.